Is, is this your first time in Latvia and have you enjoyed it? It is uh, and I've enjoyed it very much. I actually have a good friend. Uh, she was the number one Latvian tennis player for a long time and she's from here so I've known of Riga for quite some time but yeah it's my first time here. Okay great. Uh, about this conference, uh, is, is it important um, like in here in this region and maybe in the whole world? Uh, I believe so. I, I believe that it's uh, probably one of the, the biggest events in this region in terms of focusing specifically on cybersecurity. And the more of, of these types of events that we can have focused around that topic, the better these days. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, so, how come that you, as a professional tennis player, mm -hmm. became a cybersecurity, like, I don't know, <laughs> genius or worker? Or? <laughs> Well, I do product marketing, uh, so I'm not a cybersecurity genius, but I do enjoy it. Um, and it's kind of a, um, a long story, I guess, how I, how I came through it. But uh, long story short, in business school, I started actually with renewable energy. Uh, and the theme is just trying to make the world a better place. And at Cisco, we acquired Sourcefire. And at that point, um, I had done an internship. And a big topic of the internship was cybersecurity. And so that was my chance. And I worked my hardest to, to get into the cybersecurity area. OK. Maybe some words on Cisco. How is, yeah. this, how is Cisco involved in cybersecurity and yeah, in making the world a better place? Uh, cyber, well, cybersecurity is Cisco's number one priority. Um, Chuck has said it. All of our senior executives have said it. I say it. Uh, it's even in our brand promise. So uh, Cisco is committed to security, we've invested uh, billions of dollars and we've made a lot of acquisitions. So uh, we are bringing security to the network, uh, security is going to be embedded in the network and so we have a really, uh, really keen focus and vision for security. Okay. Uh, many economics of the world invest billions and trillions of dollars in the cyber security, but uh, like Every time we have new hacks, uh, new stuff hacked. So, uh, well, can it end at some point? Who will win? <laughs> or should someone win? Uh, unfortunately, it's so profitable for the threat actors. I don't think that they will ever stop. And they're sophisticated criminals and they're smart. So uh, this keeps defenders on, on their toes. I mean, it would be ideal if uh, in cybersecurity I stopped having a job because that would mean that uh, we're safe, right? But unfortunately, I, I don't think this will ever happen. I think that the attackers will get more and more sophisticated. However, on the other hand, I think that organizations will step up their own education on that front to the point where they can say I have an effective security posture. And you're never going to be able to say I'm secure. Any insecurity, that's just not something you say because you understand how complex it is. Uh, but I do believe that people can move to the point where they can confidently state I have an effective security posture. Okay, and what should we do to get like the nearest possible to secure? What should we do with what should we start as users, as developers? Well, uh, in a, an organization, it's about people, processes, and technology. It's not about uh, either just one of those in a silo. So those are the pieces that need to come together in order for an entire organization to really be protected at every angle. For example, uh, people, right? We need to educate them about not opening a phishing email or spam or something like that. But then you need to have a process in place so that when uh, it does happen, there's uh, an education path for them. But then you have to have technology to also enforce perhaps limiting their access to malicious email. So that's just a, an example of how people, processes, and technology work together. Okay, so good luck Thank for you. you at your work. Uh, maybe some wishes to the uh, viewers, to all of us. Sure, yeah, um, just uh, keep learning. Uh, keep up on the recent stuff that's happening in cybersecurity and uh, I think also keep sharing information, keep sharing information together, threat intel groups, this type of stuff is, is important, bringing the whole industry, the good guys together uh, for a common purpose. So.